Hi third graders, today is draft day. And no, not draft day like they have in football. Today you are going to be drafting your final speech. Writers, I want to remind you that speeches help people make a difference. Sometimes it can be small, like getting more equipment on the playground at recess. But other times, speeches can make a big impact and a big change, like we learned with Martin Luther King Jr. You have spent the last couple months practicing writing your opinions, thinking about problems that you'd like to have solved, and planning specific reasons to help others believe what you believe. You've reached that point in your writing where you are now going to take the planning booklet that you've been working on and use it to write your whole speech. Like I said earlier, today is draft day. You are going to need to dig deep inside yourself to find the power to write in ways that really reach people. Our learning target today is I can use my planning booklet to draft my entire speech. I can revise my draft using my opinion writing checklist. Friends, we are not new to drafting and revising. So these are skills that you have used before in your narrative and informational writing. Today, we are gonna apply them to our opinion writing. You will need to write your whole speech today, so you're going to need to be productive, which means using your time wisely. This will be easier if you've completed your planning booklet and you've already come up with specific reasons and evidence to go with each reason. If you haven't done that yet, I suggest that you stop this video, watch the video for lesson 11, and then come back when your planning booklet is complete. If your planning booklet is complete and you are ready for powerful writing, let's get going. Before you start to write, it might help to think along with me about the piece that I want to write about the recycle bins. I might not have as much written as you, but I have sorted my evidence into the sections I plan to write. So first, I'll read my notes for my claim and my first reason, and then I'm gonna try turning these notes into an oral, which means spoken, speech that I'll just say into the air. And then after I say it, I'll write that part down. Here, I wrote, we need to recycle better. So now I'm going to think about how I can add to this sentence to make it powerful. Hmm. I'm thinking we need to recycle better. Our problem is that we have bins for recycling paper, but they aren't used well. We need to get a better system so kids can use the recycling bins well. One reason this is a problem is that our recycling bins are a mess. I have seen so much garbage in them. The bins should be just for recycling. Okay, next I would actually write that part down in my speech. But as I do this, I'm going to try to draw on what I know about writing. Hmm, what will I do? Well, I'm gonna to try to add a hook at the beginning. I didn't really do that when I spoke it out into the air. I know good writers always do that though. I'm also going to try to be really specific and detailed. It might sound a little different than when I said it out loud, but that's okay. Okay, here it is. Are you like me? Do you believe we should take care of the earth? That's my hook. Do you believe in recycling? Because if you do, then you will agree that we should recycle better at school. Our problem is that we have bins for recycling, but they aren't used well. We need to get a better system going so kids use the recycling bins well. One reason this is a problem is that recycling bins are a mess. I've seen candy wrappers, banana peels, and tissues in those bins, along with the paper. Also, I have seen paper with staples. None of those things belong in there. So, writers, today your job is doing what I just did. You are going to look over your notes that you've already written down, say your speech out loud, adding lots of details, to make it sound powerful, and then write your speech using what you know about good writing. I didn't write the entire thing for you, but you're writing your whole speech today. I only got through reason one. 
as you go, I want you to use the checklist to make sure that you aren't leaving out anything super important. I would suggest using this checklist as you write, and then when you're finished, go back over the checklist again and double check that you have done every single item on the list. When you find this checklist in your learning packet, you'll see that it's split up into beginning, middle, and end. It has some things for you to do at the beginning, such as starting it with a big, bold opinion or claim, talking right to the reader, maybe asking the reader a question to get them interested um, or get them hooked, and help them picture what's going on. Explain the problem that you are trying to solve. In the middle, this checklist is going to remind you to give reasons to support your opinion and then give examples for each reason. Part of this checklist also comes in with different details like quotes or facts or stories, things that you probably planned in your planning booklet in the last lesson. And finally, this checklist is going to walk you through how to end your powerful speech by restating your opinion, trying to hook the reader again, and then saying one last important thing about your topic. Third graders, just to be clear, your job today is to draft your speech. You will be taking the information from your planning booklet and using it to write powerful, full sentences. When you finish, you'll revise it using the checklist. When you revise, you might be adding some things to your writing, taking some things out that don't make sense, or even changing some sentences. By the end of today, you should have a finished, revised draft that you are proud of. It is a draft, so it's okay if it's a little bit messy. In your learning packet this week, you will find writing lesson 12 with the checklist that you'll need, some writing paper, my recycling example speech, as well as some other resources that are going to help you. I cannot wait to hear all of your powerful speeches. Please reach out to me or your teacher if you have any questions. Honestly, we miss you so much and love helping you become better writers, so don't be afraid to reach out. All right, have fun. Bye, guys.